Story Boy, and someone called Ratcatcher. I don't know who Ratcatcher is. But he seemed to think on his video that the Ratcatcher was the Ratcatcher that I had here last week, shooting the rats. And it's not. <laughs> and it's not. So I don't know who Ratcatcher is. It must be somebody in the comment box. But uh, he's on a doorstep. He was on a doorstep there, or one of his uh, enemies he was. And he's promising, and I swear. And then behind the scenes, he's asking him for petrol money. And they're thinking, oh, yeah, it's going to be good content. And his doorstep, no cunt. Con money with him again. Well, he is a con man. Um, so, I was talking about before, I knew but he's a life like mine, fucking hell man, I mean, spoke about my life, even with the film people I hadn't spoke about my life, really, just bits of it, I just speak about bits of it on ya, to be honest, but because of the, getting the blame of the murders, the life I've had, fucking hell man, I went one of nonsense off in Spain, foreign prison, said I was a rapist, in the newspapers, on the radio, took some, how would you get out of that? If he, even if you wanted, <laughs> I didn't even try and get out of it, I couldn't speak fucking Spanish anyway. Um, I was honest, why do you think they've done that to us? Because it wasn't an accident, like they tried to make out, like to say something, I was doing the murders that, that's what the day they think you're a multiple murderer. They'll use any dirty fucking tactic that they can against you. And just the fact that they're down me waiting for us, when they did get us back, tells you it was them that fucking done that as well. For me, money it does anyway. That was no accident. But what about that on its own? Being in a foreign prison and they're coming over the radio like you wanted because you're a bad rapist. Uh, and it's you I talked about. <laughs> you're in trouble, aren't you? <laughs> Fucking hell, man. We're becoming uh, quite popular. Me first and I panel show. With me and Shara. And it'll only get bigger and better. We're just starting. Shara's going to start sharing the videos amongst his uh, subscribers as well. Next time we do them. I've got a good turnout with my subscribers. I've got 600 there and there at the minute. But if I've got something on, well, there's a bit of controversy going on, but if I've got something on, they get guest on or something. I never up to, when I had Marty on, I had 1,400. Then my subscribers tuned in. Um, if I've got something on, I've got my subscribers are there. It just gets a bit boring. If we need me, same old dribble. I find, anyway, um, 
but when I got someone, it's not just me, and I've got someone on, the number's gone up. Like I say, even just having Marty on, the, the other month, 1,400. Even James English doesn't get numbers like that, and that would. Don't get numbers like that, they are they. But they're lies. Crime just gets harder and harder, is, is especially since the digital age took over and intelligence have used it in every way. Fucking crime, man. When I, can, when I was a kid, like I keep saying, I didn't even have a fucking radio, the cops, and a whistle. And there used to be a, a telephone box at the bottom of the street, police box. That was for the whole area. For the cops in there to get reports on me. So you imagine how easy it was for my old man and his mates in them days um, to commit crime when life was like that, when the cops didn't even have a fucking radio. And then crime just gets harder and harder as you get on. And these days, you kind of fucking move these days with a digital age. Fucking hell, man, there's cameras all over. Table cords, recorders all over. If they want to bug you, they can they're to come in your house and bug you like they used to. They just tap into your mobile devices, listen and listen into you. Um, they've got your track in yourself. They don't have to put trackers in your car, then they, you track yourself every day with your phone. Even in the countryside, you couldn't pick something up these days, back in the day. Even the roadworks, you used to have generators, you could get good money for a generator, back in the day. And compressors, and if you had a high up one, you could just pick them up. Because they're always left at the roadside, in the middle of the countryside, and, that. You could, and wages just picking things up, like easily. And I'll tell you what I used to do. Um, I'm just talking about other people, yeah. But nowadays you can't even do things like that, man. It doesn't matter where you are, you don't know as a camera. You've got cameras nowhere, work off solar power like mine. You put them anywhere. Um, so you don't know where there's cameras anywhere. Nowadays they're fetching in drones to deliver your parcels, but what, really, what they're really doing is. Every drone's got a camera. So there's going to be cameras flying all over the sky under the guise, oh, it's a new postal thing. But it's not. It's it's new world order. Putting money into it just to put the technology out there where they've got cameras flying about all the time, video and everything. Big brother, isn't it? You're constantly in that video, no matter where you're going nowadays. And uh, that alone has stopped fucking 90% of crime, I think. Even in pubs. Back in old day, if there was a camera in a pub, you wouldn't fucking drink there. But nowadays, you can't have a license unless you've got cameras fitted. So it's, it's stopped all 